Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have another palette video. So I'm going to be ranking all of the eyeshadow palettes that I tried in the month of July. I apologize, I am so late on this. Honestly, this was a new series. I started the previous month and then I forgot that. I started it but it's a really fun one and it's a really great way for me to go back and really look at what I tried and what I truly love and I think for you guys as well if you want to see all of the palettes that I tried and where they rank then just keep watching oh, This is such a fun concept that a lot of channels do. I, of course, got inspired by my friend Karen Harris, so I will link her channel down below. The month of July, honestly, was a little bit dry as far as eyeshadow palettes go. I only tried six in the month of July. I can tell you now the August video is going to be much longer, but July is a little bit of a dry month, but still, we have some great palettes to share with you. I'm planning on doing these like mid-month of the next month, so that way I still have some time to really try and dig into the palettes, especially the ones that I tried at the very, very end. Like, one of the palettes here I tried the very last day of July so I still needed time to solidify my thoughts on that all right let's move in to my least favorite palette that I tried this month now keep in mind this doesn't mean it's a bad palette I liked every single palette that I tried this month but you know they have to fall somewhere somebody has to be last and for me that is I Odin's eyes cosmetics and that is the Freeha diva palette I still like this palette I think it's very good quality it's just it's such a warm toned color story and I just don't really grab for that color story a lot. I mean, look at the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes. I really like like cool tone neutral kind of looks. That's kind of my go-to. And I do feel like even the shadows that didn't seem as warm pulled extremely warm on my skin. So you can absolutely get a beautiful look with this palette. I love the makeup looks that I created with this that month. It's just not something where if I wasn't trying it and getting to know the quality that I would reach for very often. I really love this shade right here. This is the best shade in the palette. It's a gorgeous pinky gold. But yeah, it's just not my color story. There are a couple shades in here as well that I don't think are as good quality as some other shadows in here. Like there's a couple of glitter shadows that don't really show up too well and there's just too many of them where I feel like they're not that pigmented so you don't need multiple ones of them. So that's why this is ranking at number six. Like I said, it's still not a bad palette. It's very good. It's just not a color story that I would reach for. It just pulled too warm for me. But if you've seen the Odin's Eye new collection, I can't wait to dig into those palettes. They are stunning. <laughs> Okay, so number five, this is the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. And again, this is another one where I'm not saying the quality is bad. It's not. It's just not my favorite color story and even though purple is my favorite color as far as eyeshadows go as far as me stepping outside of the box with the neutrals that I wear these aren't the type of tones that I would grab for in purples I just feel like there's too many deep shades in here and I think they're a little bit too close to each other I tend to stick up here when I'm using this palette because I prefer like a lighter purple eye and these just aren't like vibrant purples like I like or very lilac-y purples these are really deep almost red based purples and I'm just not that into it. It's too dark of a palette. It's just not my color story. I don't like wearing smoky eyes that often, especially that run this deep. So for that reason, this is ranking number five. It's one of my favorite palettes though that I've tried from Melt as far as quality goes because I feel like Melt can be a little hit or miss. This one had the best quality that I've ever tried from them. It's just, I didn't really like the color story that they went with. Just my opinion though, that's all personal preference. Moving on to number four. This is the Muse Beauty Impressionism palette. This is a new brand. This is their first launch and it is beautiful. Their brand is inspired by art and if you actually look at their Instagram, there's so many amazing creative people who have created looks with this, like such talent. And you can do a lot with this palette. So as you can see, it's a very colorful palette. I've used this three times. The first look I played with the top row because neutrals. I just like neutrals. I feel comfortable in neutrals. The quality was phenomenal, especially on this shimmery shade. The next look that I did was this blue grain look. I actually have a tutorial on my Instagram. It was also such a fun, cool look. And I think this brand has a lot of promise for the future. Like I cannot wait to see the stuff that they come out with. I think that everything in this palette is very well thought out. The shimmers are beautiful. I think some of the masks could use a little bit of extra work. Like this one I had struggled showing up but for the most part it's a very solid palette the price is very fair and I enjoy the overall quality and the color 
their story and the colors that they chose it just makes sense i think it's very user friendly and even if you're not so comfortable with color it's easy to look at this palette and kind of know what direction of a look you're going to so i can't wait to see this brand come out with more products i think this was a really fun eyeshadow palette of course i don't reach for color too too much so i probably didn't get as much use out of it as i wanted to but it was really fun to do an instagram tutorial and come up with some crazy blue look number three is from odin's eye again i just i've been trying a bunch of their stuff this is the alba palette now the palette that i just talked about they did release is the alba 2 so this is the original alba palette and i just love this palette i think it's my kind of color story we have a lot of mauvey tones purple tones you have a fun pop of yellow but you can still get a pretty neutral look with this as well this is a color story that i personally feel comfortable with that's not neutral some of these do lean more on the side of neutral but it's like a fun way to put a pop of color in without feeling overwhelmed or uncomfortable the textures in here are amazing this brand really played with the textures and finishes with this palette you have so many different finishes to offer you have duochrome a little bit of a slight glitter you have some metallic foiled shimmer everything that you need is in here the only thing i think that this is missing is depth you can't get much depth with this palette but other than that as far as everyday goes this is a fun palette for me to grab for and i could not put this down in the month of july i kept creating looks with this palette i even did a three looks one palette because i loved it so much and it inspired me so much moving on to number two i have to give it to the wayne Goss palette. This is such a good palette and I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on this palette. When you look at it, I mean, it's a palette that, I mean, you probably already have the colors. It's not an original color story by any means, but what I'm coming for is the quality. I just think the quality in here is so refined and as somebody who does reviews of makeup, I look very closely into formulas. I really appreciate this palette. Now, I do agree with most of the comments on my review. I definitely would have preferred less product for a lesser price or more colors in smaller pans for the same price. The one thing that you can argue definitely is that these are basic colors that you need which is I think what he can get away with as far as that goes but as somebody who has a large collection I definitely agree with you guys that I would have liked to have seen that but I really like this palette I think the quality is so nice I love his satin shades I just think they are so universal for everybody they're so flattering on the eyes and you can just get a really great everyday look his celestial shade is an amazing formula it's like 10 times better than Charlotte Tilbury's pop shades you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of those I love what he did with this formula and you can really glam up a look so yes these are basic colors but they are essential in my opinion and I've been enjoying this a lot even though I have a makeup channel and I love doing colorful looks for you guys I'm a boring person at heart and like boring makeup is what I like to go out in moving on to my number one favorite palette this month this is the palette that I am wearing and it's an older palette but it certainly speaks to me so I got the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette during their Christmas Christmas in July sale. I was one of the lucky ones. I got one. This is in the light version. They also have a version for more deeper skin tones that have different transition shades, but I am obsessed with this palette. It took me a long time to get it. I know the craze over it happened months ago, but I, now that I just discovered it, I'm so in love with it. I did a whole tutorial on my Sydney Grace Christmas in July haul at the end of the video to see like I did a crazy blue smoky eye and today I just did this neutral cool toned smoky eye and I am like I said a Kuto neutral lover and this palette is made for me without being too like gray sometimes when I say I like cool tones that doesn't mean I like gray I just like a color story like this I really feel like this color story was made for me and if you are wondering what I am wearing is cherish as my transition shade Robert to deepen up the crease a little bit and then I put a touch of the black shade just to smoke things out especially on the lower lash line I wanted it to be more smoky down there and all over the lid I put the shade devotion I use a flat brush like this so you're not gonna get so much buildup of product I just wanted a light wash because the shimmer shades in this brand are unbelievable I used a very light fluffy brush and look at how much of a metallic finish I have the quality you guys in here it's unbelievable I see what everybody's talking about I have individual shades from them and they were amazing but something about having all of these shades laid out in a palette just makes the quality so much better for me it makes me appreciate it more you know this is just a palette where I feel very comfortable using all the time and 
I do have options to also kind of spice it up and do a more colorful look without being too outside of my comfort zone. It's just been a palette that I've wanted to grab for all the time because I love the tones and the quality, you guys. It's no joke. The mattes are so creamy, so blendable, so full of pigmentation, and the metallics, butter. They apply like butter. You don't need to put that much on to get this finish. Like, what you see in the pan is what you get on your eyelids. That's I still can't get over how metallic and amazing my eyes look. Uh, by the way, also forgot to mention, I did put some of Romeo as my inner corner highlight as well, but this is really pretty all over the lid too. <laughs> Those are all of the palettes I tried in July. Like I said, a little bit of a dry month. Didn't try too many new products, but I liked July because it really allowed me to go back and use older palettes, which is always fun. But I'm telling you now, next month's favorites, there's gonna be a lot more competition. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A nice, sweet little video of palette talk. Let me know how you like these videos if you would like me to continue doing them. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.